Hello, all my beautiful Taurus. I hope that you guys are having a great month so far. I know the world has been a pretty hectic time. Um, it's been a bit crazy, but I really hope that you guys are being safe and that I do believe we spread hope, love, and peace that we can all get through this together as a community, as society, and as a planet. So I think it's important to spread love during this time. So let's begin. But yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are being safe out there. So let's see what's going on for all my Taurus. Love reading. Okay. What are Taurus's feelings on the other person? Okay. Automatically a card wanted to come out. That was really fast. You could be dealing with a Pisces for some. We got the moon. Oh, okay. Secrets. You could be holding a secret from this person or you feel like this person's holding a secret from you. Somebody's being a bit secretive here. I'm going to get clarification on why the moon wanted to pop out his first card. Okay. Okay, a lot of cards want to come out, so I'm just going to put this back in. Let's see. Why is the moon here for Pisces? Okay, the Nine of Swords, they tried coming out again, so we're going to go with this one. Nine of Swords. Off the bat, um... We got a blue aura going on, so blue chakra might be important, or your favorite color might be blue. So, just heads up. Knight of Swords. Okay, things are... Things are going pretty fast between you and the person you're dealing with. Things are going very fast. I feel that um, there could have been a sudden change of pace all of a sudden like I feel like maybe things were going kind of slow at first and then all of a sudden things just start taking off but I feel like there's something that needs to be revealed whether it's on your end or this person's end like somebody you could feel as if this person is holding back a bit or you could be holding a secret from this person Taurus like you're maybe you're not telling them all your feelings or how everything is going this could be like kind of like a newer connection as well but I do feel like this person, whoever, or it could be a person from the past, but I do feel like this communication is going to come in very fast. It's happening very swiftly. Queen of Swords. A lot of blue energy, guys. Wow. Queen of Swords, or I like to say the Queen of Ice. <laughs> okay, so this queen, she's, she can be a bit cold at times. She's very upfront and blunt and honest. Like, she knows what she wants. She's not afraid to cut people off. She's very strategic, very, very intelligent queen. You could be a very intelligent person in general. Like, you just, you're very good, um, like, you're really good at, like, analyzing, observing things around. You can, like, you notice things before other people know. Like, you just know if something's going to happen. Like, you just know when something bad is going to happen or something good is going to happen. Like, you can sense these things, I feel like, because you're very smart and intuitive. But you feel... You are kind of closed off to this person. It's like, I think that when this person comes in fast, and this could be, like I said, it could be a new connection or it could be someone from the past. Um, I'm sensing if it's someone from the past, I feel like you're definitely putting your sword up. Like you're definitely being very guarded right now. You're not, like I feel like you're almost like you don't want to listen to it. Like you're just like, okay, if you come in, I don't want to hear it. Really don't. I don't want to hear your excuses because I feel like it could have had to do with um, a secret of some sort. Somebody held a secret in and or there was something hidden that came out into the open. I feel I feel like it's coming out into the open, especially with the Nine of Swords. It comes out into the open. It causes a disruption. And now you're just like, uh, I don't know. I don't, don't really want to hear what you got to say is what you're, I'm hearing from you, Taurus. So like, you just don't, but part of you does, like, I feel like, and also the moon card, you could also feel feelings for this person too, like internally feeling them, but you're not showing them to this person. Like you could feel like a lot for this person, but you just aren't showing it, you know? But at the same time, you're guarding your heart because this person could have, you know, kept secrets from you or lied to you or of some sort like they could have kept something from you that and now you feel hurt you don't want to let this person in and if it's a new person you might just feel like you're skeptical of it you're skeptical and you 
you see that things are kind of going fast now and you're just like you're being like whoa 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 hold on you know it's going a little fast here let's let's slow it down eight of swords you're stuck in your head about this I feel like you're going in circles um you kind of just like you feel like almost like you just like I'm not gonna even let this happen before it even start. I'm gonna let it end before it starts. Like I'm gonna end this before this even begins, before I develop any emotions. And I feel I feel Taurus that you just you're scared to open up to this person. You're scared to express these emotions to this person. If you've been feeling like you've been holding something in, you're scared to tell this person what this is. You're you're scared. You don't wanna. You don't want to get hurt because when you open up it, it like and people and someone doesn't reciprocate those feelings or they don't understand you it hurts because I think there is something you want to open up to this person about like there's something you want to tell them but you're kind of just like I don't want to hear it because it's also like you don't want to hear their side you kind of just want to just dismiss this because you just don't want to you don't want to deal with any pain that could be coming your way. I'm going to get a little clarification on what's going on, on this person's side, but I feel like there is, like, something fast that's coming in that's kind of scaring you a bit. Like, you're just, you're kind of taking it back. You ca I feel you can't see things clearly because you just don't know what the right path is right now. Like, you don't really know what the right direction is. You're thinking a lot about it, though. The Emperor... Ooh, can I have clarity on why the Emperor is here? Can I have clarity on why the Emperor is here? Okay, we got the Sun. Okay, that's some positive energy. They want something stable with you, Taurus. They want something, like, they see happiness with you. They see stability with you. But the thing is with the Emperor, off, off the bat, I did kind of get a controlling energy. Like, this person could kind of be a control freak. Um... In a way, it doesn't necessarily, that doesn't mean they're a bad person, but they could come across as, like, they can kind of have controlling tendencies, I feel like. So be a little bit careful with that energy. But I think that's what you're picking up on, too, because you're just like, ain't nobody gonna control me. Like, you're, you're like, nope. Because I know Taurus, like, you guys are very independent. And at times you can be stubborn. You're very persistent. But if you really believe in something or you want to go do something on your own, you're going to go do it because that's how you are. You're just very independent. And you are very nurturing too, but it's like, you know, you don't want to be told what to do, you know? So no one really does, actually. No one wants to be told what to do. But specifically you, like, you're just like, I'm, you know, I don't want to be told what to do. I don't want to be controlled. So yeah, you aren't having it if they even tried doing that with you. <laughs> But they can come across as a bit controlling, but at the same time, this card can also be good because it means, like, they want to set, um, they want to figure out, like, a, they want to set a foundation, like, a solid foundation between you two. They want to set something solid, they want something solid, like, a relationship. Sun card. They see you as their happiness. I don't think I mentioned any signs, guys. Well, I mentioned Pisces. It could also be a Leo. Emperor is Aries. You could be like the Aries, Leo, Pisces. We got a lot of swords. So Erangy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Hmm. Wow. Okay. You could all be also be an Aries, Taurus, Cusper. They, they see you as their sunshine. They they think of you as a ray of sunshine. Like also, this person's very captivated by your beauty. They think you're absolutely stunning or beautiful or handsome, you know, whichever gender um, you represent. Like, they just feel like you're so handsome or beautiful and stunning. They also see you as somebody that's very classy. Like, you have a very, um, you're very classy with the way you handle yourself. But you also have a playful side as well. Like, you can be very playful with this person. They like your playful side. But you also, I feel like this person stresses you out. <laughs> They can be a bit playful, too. I feel like this person can come across as... They, sometimes they push the boundaries with you, and you're just like, okay, gotta cut it, gotta, you know, tone it down a bit. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune. Ooh, yes. They feel like you guys were... You guys are destined to meet. 
there's there's a reason you two have come together. There's a reason you two have crossed paths. It's you guys were meant to meet. You're meant to meet each other. This was fated. Whether this was this person is meant to teach you a lesson or this is meant to be something long term, I do feel like you are kind of like. Uh, no, like, you, you're a bit being a bit cold to this energy, like, you're not, and if this is a past person, you have your guard up, you're like, why are you coming back, you know, what's, you know, this person could have ghosted you in the past, and they could just have came back all of a sudden, and they're just, like, trying to communicate with you again, and they, I think it's because during the time, if you guys, if you guys, um, like had a falling out and wouldn't talk and they come back it's because they realize that how much they truly cared about you and that they really screwed up when they stopped talking to you they could have ghosted you but they didn't know what they wanted back then I feel like the energy is like they know what they want now and I think that's kind of making you feel like whoa okay like, now you know what you want. Like, you should have knew what you want back then. Like, it's, like, almost like this feeling you're just, like... You don't know what to think. You're confused because you do feel some emotion just towards this person. But at the same time, you're just, like, what the heck, you know? Like, is this the truth? Should I believe this person? Like, are they telling me the truth? Is this a lie, you know? Are they just using me? Like, you're thinking... All of these questions are coming through your head. And they're all valid questions because if this person ghosted you or left you or betrayed you in some sort of way, like, it hurt you, you know? Like, if this is a new connection, then it's like, maybe there's something about this person that you just, you know, you're scared about. Like, something's scaring you about this person. Like, it's like a fear, kind of like, is this person going to hurt me? Like, are they going to leave me like every other person? It could go either way, which depending on which side you were on. Queen of Coins. This person, oh, wow, this person, yeah, wants to give you gifts. They want to nurture you. They want to care for you. They want to provide you um, with some stability. They want to be the, I don't know, maybe not that word, not provide you with stability, but, like, they want to have a stable foundation with you, a stable relationship with you. They want to make this into something stable, not just something on and off, something that's more real, something that's more, like, long-term. They, they do... There might be a gift that they could be giving you because it is also your birthday month. So happy birthday. Also, I forgot to mention happy birthday to all the Taurus out there. But they could be giving you a gift this month to like make up for what they've done or just show you that they care because they do care. They, they want to show you they care by um, showering you with some presents for your birthday. They want to... I also heard... Um, <laughs> shower you with presents well I heard shower so you can just use your imagination there <laughs> oh my gosh okay also um you could be really oh I heard wind like it's been really wherever you're living it could be a very windy um time like it's been very windy lately like as you're watching this could be very windy I don't know I just I heard wind so, so overall outcome, wow, the star, the star guys, Aquarius energy, that's a beautiful overall outcome. I think that there is going to be a peaceful resolution. There's going to be something where I think that, um, at first you might be, whether you do decide to give this person a chance or not, I do feel like at the end of the day, you're making the right decision for you. You are making the right decision. I think that your wish is going to come true. I feel like um, if you do decide to give this person a chance, I feel like it's going to, you know, like I said, it's going to happen for a reason. It's about wish fulfillment. Also, some of you guys might have a moment of fame. <laughs> Maybe you appear, like, you post an Instagram picture and it gets so many views or so many likes all of a sudden, or you post, if some of you guys could be YouTubers as well, and like, maybe you'll post a video on YouTube, and it gets a ton of views, and it's just like, all of a sudden, you're just like, whoa, it's like, or you get noticed for something, it's just something you, you're getting noticed for. I also heard there's some singers out there, <laughs> you like to sing. Okay, can I have another overall outcome card for Taurus, the person you're dealing with? But that's beautiful energy. 
you know, whatever happens, like, I believe that's some beautiful energy right there. Four coins. Okay, so... Whew, there is gonna be some holding back still, though. Like, I feel like there... I feel like you are still gonna have your guard up a bit. But I do feel like over time, it can... It might... The more you talk to this person, the more you spend time with this person, it's going to eventually get better. Or you might continue to, you know, be a little bit scared in the back of your head. But it, I do feel here with the star being here that it's going to get better. It is going to get better. There is a turn of events. But I think that it's not going to... This is just showing me with the four coins. It, it's going to take some time to build trust again if you do decide to be with this person or just build trust in general if you decide like to give this person a chance whether this is a past person or a new person okay we got the ace of cups yeah that's definitely symbolizing some new beginnings some new beginnings here something new is happening something new is coming your way this new found passion You deserve, you deserve love, Taurus, you do. I don't know who that is for out there, but you deserve it. Some of you guys feel tired from trying with people or dating all these people, and it's just like, it's exhausting, or maybe you feel like you haven't had a date in a while, and it's just like, am I going to find the one? Well, you will. If it's not this person, you will find the one, okay? I truly believe that. Everything happens in divine timing. I think it's just, you know, we need to be patient and not overthink it, you know, just get out of our heads and just see what happens, you know, just take life easy, just be yourself and just live life to the fullest, you know, I really truly believe that. I know as cheesy as that sounds, that's literally how I try to live my life. I'm just like, sometimes I'll have days when I feel negative and I'm just like getting onto myself like, oh, why is this going wrong? Why is this going wrong? But then I think at the end of the day, I'm like, you know, I got to stop thinking like that. I got to live life to the fullest. I got to, you know, be grateful for the things I have, you know, because when I stop, when the negative thinking pattern stops or you stop overthinking things, sometimes it just you releases you into this, this mindset of freedom. Like it's almost, almost like you're free from your thoughts. You're free from your overthinking because the worry at the end of the day, we'll worry about something over and over, but the worry is worse than the actual event itself it's like if we have to give a speech in front of a class we're so worried about that but then once we actually do it it's not as bad as we think you know it's like we get relief after that so it's just like sometimes just letting go of those negative thoughts or those fears can really help you help you on this path this journey to finding love but also just finding yourself and just being overall have satisfaction in life you know and happiness so it's just sometimes we just gotta free your thoughts and I have trouble with that too as well so I mean I completely get you if you're in that boat like you're having trouble with your thoughts you know just try to focus on things that make you happy and you know just use your intuition in the situation use your intuition because I do feel like there are new beginnings for you there are new beginnings for you there's something new passionate coming your way whether it's this or something else you know so I do feel like there's a newness coming for you, Taurus, and there's a wish that's going to come true. Just got to let go of this, you know, got to, and that can be very difficult sometimes. You can take baby steps with it too. You don't have to let every, like all your, like, I'm going to let my guard go down. I'm going to, or I'm going to let my wall dough go down. I'm just going to be free. It's going to take time. And I understand that's not going to happen overnight, but just like, you know, just let yourself be happy, you know, but also use your intuition. If you feel like this person isn't good for you, you know, listen to your heart. At the end of the day, it's about listening to your heart, what you feel like is best for you. So yeah, guys, that's all I have for the, this reading. If you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe so you can hear more from me and I will see you guys next time. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye.